Boxing Voice. Good afternoon, everybody. It's been a long, long road for Team Kovalev to come to this level. Then uh, we started from a day one. We went through a lot of hell. We went through all across America, from one side to another side, fighting whatever it gets into our road. Whatever we can put, whatever I can put in the ring, Sergey will fight. He never asked me who is opponent. He never asked how tall opponent is. He lefty, is he righty? Uh, he just asked me two questions: When is the fight, and what is my weight should be? Um, I love him from day one. We start working. He's a very hard worker. He prepared for every single fight, as for the championship fight. And uh, it's uh, I don't think he's going to give to somebody what it belongs to him today. He's been working very hard for it. Uh, let me introduce, uh, also I wanted to thank, before I introduce, I wanted to thank uh, Team Caparella taking that fight. I wanted to thank Dubella uh, Promotions, Main Events Promotions, Rival Hotel, HBO, putting that fight together. So let me introduce champion of the world, WBO, Sergey Kovalev. Russia. I will see you very big jacket. <laughs> uh, hello everyone. Uh, thank you to my team, my events, and uh, my promoter Kedido, to HBO, to my manager and father, <laughs> like a father, Egis Klimas. Uh, what can I say about my next uh, fight? That I had uh, same difficult uh, prepare uh, to this fight, and I wanna see, and I and I wanna show you uh, result of my prepare to this Saturday. And I'm not talker, and I'm a fighter, and I wanna just uh, get in the ring and get my next uh, win this Saturday. Welcome to HBO. Welcome to Hotel River Resort, and uh, enjoy. The big show. Thank you. Thank you. you know, the, the first time um, main events was blessed to have a, a world champion was in 1984. We won four world titles that year with Rocky, with Johnny Bumpus, Rocky Lockridge, Livingstone Bramble, and Mike McCollum. I believe in that order. And the thing that I knew for sure by 1985 is that it's a lot easier to win a title than it is to keep one. The pressure. That, that is put upon a world champion, particularly a dominant one like Sergey, every time he steps into the ring, is something that none, none of us can possibly imagine. Um, and, the, and the thing about Sergey that strikes me uh, every single time out is that every time he gets in that ring, he fights like he's the one fighting for the title. And uh, I think that's what fans love about him, certainly what I love about him. Uh, he's not gonna go in there and make it easy on himself. He goes in there and he looks to score a spectacular knockout every time. That's pressure, and Blake uh, has the, that advantage that uh, it's, it's always, there's always that temptation to look past somebody. There's always that temptation to take it easy, to relax, and uh, he's here to capitalize on that. Uh, the thing that, in my experience, has always set apart the great champions has been that ability to fight every single time like, like, like you're the challenger. And uh, I think I see that in Sergey, and we're going to certainly find out on Saturday if I'm right. So thank you. I uh, hope to see you all on Saturday. Watch us on HBO. Come down here to Revel. We've got plenty of tickets at reasonable prices. It's a nice big room, so everybody's welcome. And I think I'm going to let Ellen uh, take it from here. Well, thank you, Kathy. It's nice to be in Atlantic City once again. Um, this is where I started my professional career, and it's, it's always a pleasure to come back here. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful hotel. The Revel is a, is a marvelous uh, structure. Um, <laughs> I uh, just want to say this camp has been great. Sergey does what Sergey always does, prepares physically and mentally for each fight. We haven't looked past him. You know, they're there. I hear other people saying, well, we're looking past Blake to the bigger fights. No, in order to get to the bigger fights, we have to go through this fight here and then we have to go through Blake. So we're taking it one step at a time. And he's trained hard, he's ready to fight. There's no more to really say. It's let us fish do the talking come Saturday night, and that's what he's going to do. So 
Um, I look forward to having everybody come out and watch this fight. It's going to be a good fight for whether it goes 1 or 12. So you're going to do what he does best, and that's destroy. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming down, everyone. First of all, I want to thank Main Events, uh, Debella Entertainment, HBO Boxing, um, and Sergey for putting his title up for grabs. Sergey's a true champion. He doesn't care who's in front of him. He puts his title up. Like Sergey went to England to beat Nathan Cleverly, I'm doing the same thing. I'm coming to America to beat Sergey Kovalev. I've prepared well. I'm confident. People are writing me off. You can't write off a guy, you can't mock a guy that's coming to give 100%. I'm confident in my abilities and that's why I'm in the sport. I want to be a champion. Sergey's he's been training hard and fights hard and I respect that, but so do I. Um, also, it was a difficult choice for me today. I was in my room and I had to choose a t-shirt. Sergey's got jokes, so I had to pick out a pretty plain t-shirt for him. So he's a good fella and I'm looking to put on a good show Saturday night. Questions? I know everyone's shy. Corey, you got a question for me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, and I appreciate everyone. I appreciate it. The Boxing Voice.